Hello everyone. Yes, it's about that time. Our holidays are approaching and I have some recipes to share with you all. So stay tuned for my holiday recipes. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. And her family. Hello everybody, how y'all doing on this nice beautiful day? Today we're making a moist and delicious carrot cake y'all requested by Miss Katessa and here are our ingredients. Here I'm measuring up my carrots that I have just grated in my food processor. Here in this bowl, we're adding our flour. Salt. Cinnamon. And allspice. And we're mixing this together. And now we're adding in our baking soda. We're gonna mix this well and set it aside. Now we're going to our mixing bowl. We're adding in our sugar, eggs, vegetable oil, and our vanilla. Okay, we're turning on our mixer and we're gonna start on a slow speed and gradually move up. We're gonna mix these ingredients until they become a yellow pale color. Okay, as you can see, it's a deep yellow color. And we're gonna continue to mix this until the yellow becomes pale, okay? This is the pale color that we're looking for. Now we're adding in our dry ingredient that we previously mixed. We are mixing in our flour one spoon at a time until it's all gone. We're gonna continue to mix this and wipe down our sides and mix it just a little bit more because we don't want to over mix our batter. Here we're removing our wire attachment so that we can add the remainder of our ingredients. Here we're adding in our crushed pineapples grated carrots and our walnut pieces and we're going to fold these in very gently okay now we're going to the next step here we are spraying our pan. I find that using butter, just regular butter, and just spread it in your pan is more easier to uh, for the cake to come out because I was having a little trouble with mine with the spray. But if you get a good spray, you can. It should come out easily, but um, the kind that I used didn't. So. I really prefer the butter. Just get some softened butter and just oh, spread it around in your pan. Okay, here's another tip. You do not have to use these pans. You can use a bunk pan or you can use a 
sheet cake pan just a regular sheet cake pan and your cake will come out absolutely delicious either way you do it my sister dorothea she brought a carrot cake in a sheet pan to our family reunion and y'all it was so so delicious so you don't have to use the layers just make this recipe yours okay as y'all can see i have placed our batter in our pans and we're going to bake these at 350 degree oven for 25 minutes or you can check after 20 minutes because it doesn't take as long for the layer cakes to bake as it would a sheet or butt cake okay y'all i'm gonna be back as soon as our cake finish baking okay our cakes have finished baking and I'm removing them from the pans and we're gonna let those cool and while they are cooling we're going to make our frosting here we're adding our cold butter and our cold cream cheese to our bowl and we're gonna mix this until it becomes smooth Here we're adding our vanilla extract and we're going to continue to mix this until it is smooth and well incorporated. Now we're adding our powdered sugar. We're going to add a little bit at a time. Okay, we're going to continue to mix in our powdered sugar until it is smooth and creamy. Okay? Okay, since our frosting is ready and our cakes are half cooled, we're going to start with the bottom layer and spread our frosting on. Our second layer, spread our frosting on. And our top layer. You can stop at this step if you prefer, or you can go ahead and just frosting the whole cake. And that's what I'm doing with my birthday cake. I want the whole cake frosted. Since our cake is frosted, now I'm going to add some pecan pieces on top. You can put them on the sides, top, or whichever way you want to decorate your cake. Make this recipe yours. I'm gonna finish my cake, place it in a refrigerator for one hour, and then I'm gonna be ready to cut it and serve. And I'm gonna be back with the final result. Okay, y'all, we are back and ready to serve. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed being in the kitchen with me as much as I enjoyed being in the kitchen with you all. Helping me make my birthday cake y'all this cake was so delicious i wish i could have shared a slice of cake with each and every one of you because i am so thankful for each and every one of you i hope y'all enjoyed this recipe don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos and to all our new viewers and subscribers you are welcome 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 to our channel okay y'all as always i'm gonna say y'all have a blessed day and bye bye for now love y'all stay safe and be blessed We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit.